Hello everybody, welcome back to Rad Boys. I'm Speed, joined here with my brother Yitz. Uh, you probably got a lot. Uh, you probably got a lot of questions going on. For instance, uh, where have we been? Obviously, there's a freaking ladybug in the car. There's a, no, I'm saying there's a ladybug in here. And I'm, I'm gonna have to watch. Should I? No, I'm, we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. Okay. Uh, you're probably wondering where were we? Obviously, millions have been wondering uh, where have we been? Uh, why are we here? Uh, after not being where we were supposed to be and um like where are we, my beautiful ride your beautiful beautiful ride um wait where's the, is that the camera okay that's what i'm supposed to be looking at yeah so um should i start off with where i'm going or where we are right now yeah let's start the, yeah where or, we are okay let's start with where we are right now basically there's uh there's an eclipse happening as you may have heard like a billion times uh we'll get into that we're going to talk about the conspiracies and things like that um and we decided spontaneously to do like this podcast freaking during the eclipse for some weird reason on his phone which has like exactly 40 minutes of recording left so we're gonna have to be very exact with this i had to click record we had to like do this first try like lots of skill going on and for all the people mad at the editing there will be no editing there's no editing going on so like we have to nail this or like we're actually screwed like i, I we can't edit it because oh this will segue perfectly um i'm moving as uh as i've i've hinted towards many times but I'm actually moving. I'm uh, moving down to the state of Florida. No longer an Ohio boy. Now I'm a Florida man. Which is why we haven't recorded because yeah. he doesn't have a setup I anymore. I don't have a setup. Uh, I sponsor everything. I run everything. He does zero work. So uh, I, I don't have no. my camera. I don't have my computer. Can't Soon it'll be 50-50. Soon will be 50-50. The podcast will continue. It will probably be via call and things like that but don't worry it'll be nice and smooth it won't be random echo delays and like one guy speaks and then the echo then it comes to the other guy's side and then like they they pause awkwardly because yeah, yeah, one's speaking and the other one's still speaking it's gonna be fine uh we weren't gonna record this at all but literally we came here for the eclipse and we have 30 minutes we have 30 minutes till the eclipse comes and we're just like screw it there's 40 minutes on this phone we're freaking just gonna we're just gonna do a podcast and because if not we i won't do one for like it'll be like many weeks till we do one all right what should we start off with oh i i eclipse many conspiracies many stuff's going on right now um should we start with the cows well i would i would first start and say that it was supposed to be cloudy but we moved the weather Huh? We moved the weather like it started, like they called me and I gave a little phone call. You know, there's an eclipse going on today. Um, before we get to the eclipse conspiracy, I want to talk about uh, the, the red the red heifer conspiracy. Yeah, I don't uh, know what's going. On. I just see random posts like there's a red heifer in Israel. There's and, like, a there's a red cow that's uh, basically in Jewish lore. Uh, well, that's not lore. It's, it's not. It's Jewish. His, it's Jewish stuff. Basically, law. law that when the Messiah comes, before the Messiah comes. Uh, there will be a red cow, perfectly pure. Every single hair on it is red. It can't be any other color. Can never have been yoked. You're not allowed to lean on it. A lot of weird rules, but this per basically this red cow will be slaughtered before the Messiah comes. Some say the Messiah will slaughter it. Whatever. Um, uh, and like nine of them have been slaughtered, and the tenth one will be like when Messiah comes and stuff like that. But the red heifer, ha the red heifer has to be pure. It can't have any spots. It has to be completely, completely red. Completely red. And it can't be used at all. It couldn't be used to like you know work in the field. I, I literally just said that. Oh sorry. I, no, I literally just said I, that. I, really? I literally you just blanked out. I, I literally just. I, said I did that. not realize. And um, the person slaughtering it also has to be like perfectly ritually pure, which like doesn't exist nowadays. So a bunch of like uh, buffoons in. Uh, in Israel, uh, Jews who that like, buffoons. There's people who decide to make their own. They they were like, we're gonna we're gonna because red cows are very hard to find, but nowadays it's it's possible through breeding to get them uh, much more common. So a few years ago, they breeded a bunch of them. They got like five five of these red cows, and now they they had like they're they're the right age, and they made an altar. Like, uh, what's the Hebrew word? The mizbeach. mizbeach. They made yeah. a mizbeach, an altar, which is where the, the slaughtering happens. It's and, actually crazy how exact they make it. I saw the pictures of it because we learned, like, the dimensions, how it's supposed to be built, like, through just Jewish law and things like that. Just because you learn it just for basic knowledge. They built it exactly how you're supposed to build it. Now, it, I think it's complete shenanigans and all silly because you can, like... They're, they're trying to do it so that they can like make the messiah come it's that's like, why they're doing like it forcing the messiah you, to come. No, it's not how this works so they, like, generally like, under judaism we believe that it'll come when it comes it'll come when and it, it comes it's, you know we do good actions to help it come but you can't like force it down so, so the, i mean like whatever through the, the, these guys they're trying to make it come and there's like there's also another conspiracy on top of that that basically the third temple is gonna is suppose is like where the al-aqsa mosque is yeah. When the third temple gets rebuilt, it's on that mountain, and apparently the Al-Aqsa Mosque is there. So uh, I know a lot of Muslim people have been saying that 
the Jews, not all of them, there's some people have been saying that the Jews are slaughtering the red cow on <laughs> the Mountain of Olives or something. Well, which, is is actually right, which is actually outside of it, I think. It's right outside of it, yeah. but the, in that general area, because that's where it has to be slaughtered, so that they could summon their Messiah and it will, and to destroy the mosque and build their uh, temple or whatever. Oh, and also our Messiah is like their Antichrist as well. Uh, well, the most, in, in Islam, it's called the Dajjal, but it's essentially the Antichrist. Oh, you're like freaking knowledgeable about. I'm very knowledgeable. <laughs> I'm very, no, I'm very knowledgeable. But basic, it's very convenient, by the way. Like we have our side, and all of a sudden, like you know, they they're like, oh, actually, yours is the Antichrist. Like, but like we believe it's coming, but like it's the ladybug. This freaking ladybug right here, it's crawling on our window. It's the same freaking. If you ladybug. open the window, it'll go out. No, but I, I don't know if I can risk that. I, it's gonna start buzzing all over the place. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. So uh, like th th that's the cons Jew conspiracy of the month. There's one every month, and this month is they're slaughtering a cow, and it's gonna bring the well, uh, uh, it's gonna force the Messiah to come and tear down a mosque or something. Well, I think if it officially is all tied into the eclipse because the ecl oh yeah yeah they're slaughtering it today or something during the eclipse. Are they? I have no idea. I don't that's even know. Said. Oh, and apparently today's the last day of Ramadan or something. Is it? I, I it know. might be. That might be incorrect. And apparently, according to Muslim uh, to Islam, like. On the last day of Ramadan, that's when all the demons are at it, their strongest. And the Jews are doing it to insult them. We're insulting them by slaughtering our cow to destroy their mosque on their holy day. Or People whatever. work really hard to get around this. To, like, to, it's like you got to connect all the dots. Well, the religious Jews, we see this shit, we're like, what the hell are they doing? What's <laughs> going on? Wait, people think we're like trying to no, summon the also, devil? Apparently the whole eclipse, they, the video that we saw... Was like if you take a bunch of if you take all the eclipses together, it makes an olive and a tuff. Which if you actually look, it actually is not. It, oh yeah, there's this there's this video <laughs> that we hilarious. saw where the the eclipse zones that shows across the map those big lines. Uh, there's like two of them and they intersect and it creates two Hebrew letters. One is the first letter, which is the Hebrew letter olive, and the last one, which is tuff. But uh, which which and they, and like these people made up these non-Jewish people said which corresponds to like the beginning and the end. But it doesn't even look like the letters. It doesn't even look like the doesn't letters. It doesn't look at all like the letters. I was trying to look at it. I was like, okay, let's look at these lines. Does okay, it look like the X Hebrew letter? And a T. I saw like an X. I did not see no Hebrew letters. I didn't see nothing. Uh, and then they use it to tie it all together and how you gotta wake up and stuff like that. The amount of conspiracies I've been seeing for this stupid solar eclipse. I can't wait for the eclipse to happen and nothing to happen besides uh, the moon going from the sun and it can. No, dark. but but the earthquakes. Earthquake. Okay, that was a little weird. They were saying earthquakes would happen and stuff. And when we saw the video, it said the earthquakes, shattering earthquakes, and then New York got their earthquake like the day later, and which was a little and weird. And of course, I mean, just for us, we know it's all it's all our friends in like Brooklyn. We're talking about the earthquake. We're like in the Jewish in the Jewish hubbub, mm -hmm. and of course, there's a lot of tunnel jokes. Lot, oh yeah, everyone was <laughs> saying that the Jews are digging again. Like that's what they're that's that's what some people were saying. I can't believe that thing has taken on like it's, it's like that's it, the new. It's like a full head and feet. Everything. The, no, it's the new like it's their new thing to make fun of now. Those stupid dudes, twenty, a hundred, whatever freaking guys. Like they they freaking. They the same in. the same dudes that tell me that my content or whatever could be an insult <laughs> to Judaism are the same people that are digging tunnels and literally created a new stereotype for them to make fun of. And us by with. the way, that tunnel's filled. Like they already fixed it. They filled it very quickly, and everyone is saying they filled it too quickly. And I was All like, right. yeah, it's a good thing. They, and I was like, yeah, it's a good thing they did that. You <laughs> know, it would have been pretty bad. But we've done. I mean, we talked about that way too many times already. Uh, the eclipse. A lot. Whenever the eclipse happens, everyone's always says the end times are happening. They said it in 2017, which is why I wasn't getting fear mongered this time because 2017, everyone was saying, uh, I think uh, probably Jesus stuff of, of, as well. Uh, the rapture. You know what the rapture is? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, of so you know, you know some stuff. So, um, but in 2017, I was in New York at a camp, and I heard there's a solar eclipse happening, and I'm like a crazy space nerd. Yes. If you look at one of our first episodes, by the way, why don't you try it? Your segue suck. Just continue. No, no, no just continue. No. <laughs> I wasn't trying to segue. I'm saying you you're, you're like you're like segue. Like that's how your segues are. Just continue. But anyways, in 2017, I I was in New York. I was stuck. I had a job, and I wasn't able to go see it. And I only saw half of it. Which is lame. It just gets a little dark for a little it was bit. Very, it sucked. I when I the last eclipse that I was at, uh, I was in Ohio, and the eclipse was in Tennessee. And I was on my way to the dentist uh, with our father, and during we like stopped off at this truck place in the middle of it, and I wore this like welder's mask, and I saw like half the moon. I think all of a sudden, like that's literally. There's a picture of me apparently that you said that we have. So so like, so set was it seven years ago? I said I looked at the map. 
I looked at like one of these NASA websites and it said that there's another another solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. Not gonna take. I can't. I can't see anything by the way. So I yeah, know. It's kind of dumb. They said there's another solar eclipse happening in 2024, and I looked at the map and it was like, it was like over Ohio. I'm like, freaking over Ohio. We're in Ohio. Yeah, I'm like, we're in Ohio. And I said, no matter where I am, if I'm married with kids, I don't care. I'm going back home, and we're and I'm gonna see this stupid thing. Mm -hmm. Amazing thing. And and you're I married with it. kids. Married with kids, I moved back. And I'm gonna go see it. And we're gonna see it. I've been waiting for seven years. All my family's like, they're like, I'm just happy that you're finally seeing it. What if the moon explodes? Or like, what if there's nothing happened? What if it's very lame? What if NASA shoots enough lasers at it that there's pushes it? There's someone shooting a particle. They're shooting a particle accelerator at the moon and to test experiments. And I'm gonna become the Flash. The government's lying to you. <laughs> they're saying, don't look, don't look at the moon. It will blind you. Don't look at the sun in the sky. It will blind you. <laughs> They, there's, there's, there's some special energies that are gonna emit from that moon, that are gonna come from that moon, and they don't want us, they don't want us to have it. No, that's probably what it Government's is. Government's lying to us, so I'm gonna look directly at it. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I think that, really huh? you know, bro, it's freaking flying on you, and it's. Huh? Freaking, your ladybug is still. It's open been the crawling, window. Huh? Just, okay, wait till it gets to the top. Wait till it gets to the top and oh. open the, open yeah. the window. Ready? Three, Three two. two, one. <laughs> Oh, okay, now it paused. You see, I did it. Oh, wait. Oh, ah, ah, wait, where is it? Where'd it go? It's, it's, it's on the top. Wait, oh, it's I think it went out. I was trying to get on the camera. <laughs> is it? No, I think, I think we're chilling. Yo, okay, someone's honking, someone, honking at us. That was a raw, organic scream they just saw. <laughs> Why'd you think? I, I told you, I knew that was going to freaking happen. I was like, oh, I'm going to scroll it, and it's going to freaking... And it's and it's gonna go, but I think it's outside now. So By the way, have what? you? Sorry, segueing to another topic. Have oh. you? I have not let's say that. You did it on purpose. Like, I swear. You, you, can you just say segueing into another topic? Maybe. Okay, continue. Did you watch? Was it the UFL? Huh? Yeah, the United Football League. They combined did like two knockoff NFLs and put them together, and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I never watched it. Uh, yeah, so like what's intro what's unique about it is like they have like live mic ups. You can hear what they're saying like like while they're freaking calling up the plays. It's very interesting. You see the the offensive coordinator telling the plays, saying the plays to the mic like clearly. It. Then you see the quarterback saying it to everybody else like equally. Like, oh, the but can't the other team? The other team, I guess. I guess they can't read the feed long. The enough. whole th no, the whole thing is you can see it on the feed regardless. Just the quarterback saying it, but also you don't really understand always what they're saying because they have their own codes and things like that. So it's something really crazy. Oh yeah, um, we also need to talk about I'm moving, but like we didn't, we didn't get too deep into that. That's true. Um, I'm. There's been a lot of real life stuff. That's why it's been like it's one. Been podcast. very busy. We low key have lives, you know. We're actually, and that's a lot. we're actually very busy. Very important people. All they say is, "Wow, look at the rab boys." Jew boy. How busy they rab are. boys. Rab boys. I had a baby boy. You had a baby boy, which. I Again, most of, I mean, we've said that already. Um, it yeah, it's not cool anymore, so right now it's just, you know. A lot just, of boys. A lot of boys. Um, and this is my first time that I'm, like, living, like, by myself. Like, in a thingy. Like, by myself. Like, I have to cook for myself. You have to pay rent. I have to pay <laughs> rent. I have to pay other stuff. Apparently, you have to, like, pay to live. That I know. sucks. And, and by the way, rigged. the biggest scam. Oh, sorry, I think I have to uh -huh. The biggest scam is that. When I when you like you're like hey I'll pay rent but like is that all I have to pay like no you have to pay for electricity gas it sucks and like Wi-Fi like it's it's not I mean obviously it's not included but if you never did it before did you know you no idea. that you have to pay to I know. live what I, is this BS no wonder people like die and stuff bro has to make his own food I have to make my own food I have to like drive places and yo your fridge is just gonna be like my <laughs> fridge is going to be literally chicken breast <laughs> vegetables potatoes like you're gonna open your there's probably gonna be nothing in the fridge but water like i'm not getting fruit i'm not well, why not because i'm not gonna eat it like i'm not gonna like you get fruit so you have fruit but i know i'm not gonna eat the fruit and then it's just gonna sit there and go bad what are you gonna snack on here like what do you snack on here and then what are you gonna eat there you're not gonna eat anything all my snacks everything i snack on here is a waste of there's nothing important for me to like maybe nuts but like, I'm not buying nuts. You know how expensive nuts I know, are? You realize how expensive nuts are? You know how expensive nuts are? Nuts are. I'm not buying nuts. I don't, you have also, to start buying nuts yourself, you realize how expensive they are. Also, like, it's not it's not worth it. Like, I'm, like I eat too many of them also. I know we good. complained last time, time, but seriously, kosher food is so expensive. Way it's too crazy. expensive. You don't realize that until you have to start buying it by yourself. And your parents, you know, if you're at home, you're just at home. You just eat whatever's in the fridge. I'm going to buy 10 chicken breasts <laughs> and put them in the freezer. Get bulk. I'm going to buy them in bulk. You're going to look at them. You're going to open my freezer. It's like... The fr it's like a fridge and like a long freezer that like stands up and you're gonna open it and you're just gonna see like stacked on top of each other bam 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 just a frick ton 
a freaking like chicken on it. Literally, I, I could say everything on my hand that I'm getting. Chicken, rice, ground beef, <laughs> potatoes, broccoli, green beans. That's all I'm getting. And, oh, eggs and egg whites. No, but what and, do you and need? Ezekiel and Ezekiel bread. That's bread. all I'm getting. So you're just going to eat eggs and bread during the day and then chicken and Every eggs and bread for breakfast. What about peanut butter? Peanut butter? What am I going to do with peanut butter? On bread? On the What are we talking I about? I forgot you like, I don't know what you eat. I'm not sure. You what. have no clue what I eat. Everything, the only reason that like I don't eat healthy here is solely because there's just garbage in this house that I just, <laughs> that, that's useless to eat. That's the only, like, I'm going to, I'm naturally just you going to get healthier and like be on a proper cut just no, by living by myself. You're going to get so hungry during the day. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be healthy. You I'm going to actually like be. Are you going to have tuna? The first week and a half when you don't, like when you're going off of eating like no, trash, you don't, you're going to you be hungry. But afterwards, you're so regular. So you're just going to eat three meals and that's it? You're not going to have anything else in between? Hi, I mean, listen. Maybe eventually, maybe down the line, I'll be like, okay, I'll buy some nuts. Like maybe I'll want some nuts. <laughs> like I'll be like down. The, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't snack. I don't really snack. All right. I eat three meals. I have I have eggs in the bread in the morning, <laughs> and I have the chicken what's rice for lunch? vegetables. Huh? What's your What's your lunch? I don't really. I don't have like a lunch That's like insane. you guys have. I have like. Uh, I'm worried for you. What are you talking about? You I eat, trust. Do I look like I'm underfed? <laughs> Come, like I'm going to trust me. I will be perfectly fine. And I'm I guess I just have two dinners. Huh? You have like, That's usually what I do. You have chicken I usually, and chicken. I have meat for lunch. Was government propaganda? No, I'm serious. <laughs> like cereal to milk for breakfast is BS. Regardless, big food. By big the way, big food cereal breakfast. It's healthy. What? Cocoa crisp? <laughs> what is this? You know, it's Sugar. Not, it's not breakfast. <laughs> hey, you, like you need protein. Like you need regular freaking breakfast. Lunch. Like lunch. Like it makes lunch is just carb sandwich. Like that's what gr growing up. That's what car like. That's what lunch is. It makes zero sense. Mac and cheese, like that's lunch. Like I'm not what? No, we need protein. Well, yeah, whole wheat noodles. What? what? That's not a. It's not a lunch. That's not. It's 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 stupid. It's like it, they're doing it to keep our insulin levels up so that we're never in proper shape. So that we eat more, buy more food, and so that we need more stuff to buy from the government and, and healthcare. Stuff. And healthcare. That's what they were saying. They were saying healthcare. Like the people, the higher ups. They're talking about. Grow on health insurance. Maybe, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to... There's going to be so many surprise expenses that I'm going to get, but it's going to be fine because I'm moving down there uh, to do social media and to network and to get uh, extremely rich. You can't get rich without being very, very poor. That's what they said. That's what they're saying. Well, your your big your big move was bringing your car down there. Oh, yeah. I shipped I shipped our, um, our car down there with, like, a bunch of stuff in it. By the way, it's a lot more simpler than, than you would think. It, right. took, it took, like, two days to ship. Uh, very, like, very efficient... I mean, well worth the price. Although the car is such a cheap car, they might as well just buy another car. What's wrong with that car? Huh? It was my car. I bought this car when I was in school, so it was pretty much like your your classic college kid the car. The battery. Oh yeah. So broken. Then, that's what happened was, I had kids, and I needed. So I basically swapped it with my parents who didn't need the van anymore. Basically, the van was an extra car, so I said, "Well, I'll just give you a car for for Svi, so he can have a car and not a van, and then we'll have the van." It worked out because it's, it's pretty much the same level garbage yeah <laughs> so. no it wasn't because your van works and my car had the battery freaking dies and you had to charge it and every time i'd use it i'd have to charge it when until we... eventually we charged it and it wouldn't charge <laughs> i and... know when i brought it to you the first time it was so cold that it wouldn't start so i had to jump it whenever it's cold it, it needs to get jumped off. exactly every and so what we did was i called like triple a they came over and the, the guy was <laughs> the most introverted like he was there solely for like business which is good but he was like it was like really awkward he just like arrived there he got out of his car he looked at me and i looked at him and he didn't say anything he was like <laughs> like uh, like uh, he, he knows what the issue was and i was like um i think my car i think that i think it's the battery and he's like okay and then he just gets he gets crap out of his freaking like out of his truck he starts like he opens my thing and he's like you said the battery and i'm like yeah and he starts guy like, plugging things and doing this like all these thingies and then he said yeah your battery's very old and dead and i'm like yes yes that is that is the issue and they're all like that when i when our my alternator died actually in this car uh -huh. and we got triple a and the guy we actually didn't have triple a but triple a helped us which was nice of him because he literally happened to spot us Anyways, so they, they basically give you a whole spiel, whole talk every time. They're like, you know, the alternator's dead. My guy was not like that. My That's guy, what he was. My guy wasn't, like, BSing, trying to, like, sell me more stuff. He, like, looked like he didn't want to be there. Maybe he doesn't like to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying maybe anything. He just doesn't, maybe he doesn't like going to people's houses to give them new batteries because they're, they're too lazy to go to the right, shop. He's getting paid, but literally, 
he's like he's like yeah i got a battery and i was like so can you like put in the battery like i had to tell him every single step and he said how much would it cost no so i'm like how much is it he's like he wouldn't okay like, how, i don't know am i supposed to pay for it now he put it in like he didn't offer me to pay for anything imagine he just left he's like here you go i feel like i could have just took it like i was guiding him and had to do his job he did it well though and he did it really quickly he put it in and out very quickly so I, he, he's all work no play he's one of those guys who they know what they're doing and they don't exactly that's sort, of, that's sort of what it was. And you know what? It works, and every single day it's been starting so far. I'm just i scared that when I park it in Florida, it's just not going to start. The sun is just going to, like, melt it? It's going to, the entire car, I'm going to come back, it's going to be a pool of just <laughs> melted goop. <laughs> no, I'm lifting up the goop. <laughs> no, you know? The car only didn't work in the cold, and the heat was always fine. Mm -hmm. You might need new tires, though, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, the guy said, the guy said, oh, yeah, yeah. your tires are going to start being due, but it's, uh, I'm, I only plan on being down there for, like, a year. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about it just yet. Wait, are you going to drive a lot down there? Nah, not really. That's why I'm not too concerned because I'm only, I, I sun, sunlight's not good for me as we feel like, <laughs> I, like I'm going down to Florida just so like I could inevitably get sunlight, but it's not There's it's only not like a few spots that Jewish teenage, Jewish, like unmarried Jews can actually like habit, food and habitat, I guess. Food. Food. And food. That's all you need. Food. And I like, I guess and you people, need people, I'm saying they, a lot of guys who are not married go to certain cities. go to New York, they go to Florida, they go to certain spots. They don't necessarily go to a random city somewhere. I guess like you could go to Walmart. Like like I uh, like what, what what no, I'm saying what 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 are you talking about? I'm talking about shopping. Oh, I'm talking about places to live. Oh, I'm talking about places that a single guy would actually have to use his car to go to. Oh, oh yeah. I got it. Yeah, no, that's what I thought you were asking. Like, I was just saying that no, a lot of people there's not a lot of places for single Jewish guys to like hang out. They just kind of hang out together and Florida's yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the places. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the places I'm um, Which is why place. you're there. You're not there for the sun. You're there for the people. I, I, I'm with, I'm there for the area, the, the a lot of Jews down there. I have friends down there, and it's freaking nice down there. And the I want to live by myself. I don't want to live in a basement. I live in a basement. <laughs> the nightlife? Yeah, the nightlife, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's the nightlife with the Jew boy. Everyone's going to be so pumped. It's going to be great. I don't know why. I feel like things are going to work out well down there. I don't know why. I feel Hopefully. like maybe it'll be the year of Jew boy. Maybe I'll, like... Maybe because the sun's shining. I'll, like, go down to Hollywood and, like, I'll leave this podcast and I'll leave it just for you. Hey, guys. It's me, son. It's me. It's in Hollywood now. It's just, it's just me. It's just, it's just boy now. I just talk on the... I just talk to myself. Exactly. And you know what? Hours. You might have, like, a large dedicated audience. You never know. For that. You never know, guys. Let me know if you do that. But, um... I was thinking about uh, starting... Uh, no. I was, I, I was thinking I gotta start a social media just for, like, work and stuff. But... Every time I do it, you say you'll help me, and then every time I want to do it, I get scared and I don't. Huh? I literally offer you my services. I said I'll help you with social media, and then you just never do anything. I'm always open. I'm always open. You could call me whenever. I'll freaking I'll help you. I know, but how do you post stuff online? Basically, there's a thing. So right now we're recording this on your phone. Yes. I'm not going to help you. Do you understand? You're going. To, <laughs> you're gonna figure out how to upload this long ass video <laughs> from your phone. Right, now no computer from your phone straight to YouTube to the right channel, the right channel. I have to actually probably I think I make a it. you wanna do you know how to make titles? Do you know how to type a little title? You know how to type titles? <laughs> yeah, you know how to do it. I'm saying uh we probably won't do a thumbnail because I feel like the organic car screenshot is honestly fine. You don't need to make anything special and there's nothing crazy going on anyways. Apparently there's an eclipse going on, but like I mean that's Yo, we got these glasses. I bought these glasses like months ago, I was like ready to go. I have extra for he, for the truckers who need. You've literally been talking about it. Yeah, there's actually... The, are there people pulling up here? Not really. Not like a crazy... Talking, no, it is more full. It's more full than it was before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There, there's some people. We're at, we're at like a random like rest stop right now. And like... We're only... Wait, what time is it? We're only doing this because freaking like... Because freaking we got nothing better to do. And, Yo, 10 more minutes and it's starting. Oh, uh, yeah? Damn. And because like we low-key like we feel bad. You know, we have an audience that... You know, it doesn't have... It, it may not have be... What? I thought I saw some more Jews. It may not be. Ew, why, what are they doing in our reports? <laughs> yeah. I'm saying we might not have millions of people following us, but there are people that watch us, and there were like two people that asked about yeah. where we were. And we lit, and we heard you guys, you two people that asked where we were, and we're here. And we, we want you guys to know that. Um, do you have anything else to talk about? I, I feel think like this, this might be cut shorter because I literally don't know what else to talk about. Huh? Nah, that's pretty much what's going on with us. We're just an update. Listen, you know, 25 minutes is actually like 2,500% more than what would have, or billion. It's true. Actually, infinitely more than what would have been zero. Well, I do want to say is that we are going to try to set up as soon as possible. I have to get a mic. 
I think my camera will be fine on my computer. He literally just has to figure stuff out. It's gonna be like, a, if you know like Chad Johnson and like uh, Shannon Sharp, it'll be like that style of like how it looks on camera, things like that. Also uh, the question- I think it'll be better because we'll each have our own microphone. It'll probably actually be more quality. This might actually be better quality than what we usually have. Also, are you taking my Rad Boy sign? Yeah, that's where, yeah, you, I was you, gonna you, discuss You should take the Rad Boy sign, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my background in my house looks more like the basement. Yeah? Yeah. It doesn't have to look like put it, it in the do in the dining room or something. It'll have like a nice you can you like you, there's nothing you could choose where you want to do it. It's I'm like not in the office. I'm saying all you need is a good bike. It really doesn't matter where your camera is. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to set it up and we'll try to get you know weekly like we usually do. Yeah, no, no. One, once I'm fully moved in, it's gonna it's gonna be weekly. Like it won't be it won't be an issue. But we appreciate you guys for for handling us while we're still figuring out this whole situation. Uh, literally watch all the other episodes. We're literally, it's going to be like the Rad Boys, uh, the Rad Boys year. That's what they're going to be talking about, the Rad Boys year. Oh, look at the Rad Boys. They're so good at making podcasts. They're so much better uh, than all yeah. the other ones. Uh, down, and if huh? you have glasses, look at the sky. You look directly at the sky because the government doesn't want you to do it. Smash like, subscribe, watch all the other episodes, download on Spotify. Uh, literally, goodbye.